Hey guys, GC here, playing House Flipper. Okay, so I'm thinking we are over 200,000, so we're just gonna flip a house. So let's see over here. Uh, okay, so house. Let's see, it has to be like a nice house. Like for instance, a house in a ticket. Look at this one over here. Uh, and this one, garage with a bunker. These are from the bunker DLCs, you see? All house with bunker, garden after house construction. Mm. I'm thinking we are going to go with garage with bunker or maybe all house with bunker, you know? We're gonna go with this one, all house with bunker. 128,000 number of floors too look at this it has the bunker thing it has that we can like clean it outside we can place some nice things here we're gonna buy this house you bought a house do you want to go there yes we're going to this house okay to increase the house volume you can take part in the garden contest Please enter, uh, press enter and press uh, uh, select type. You want to ra uh, raid your garden. Okay. Okay. Yes. Use a shovel to bury all amounts of ground. Mischievous mole will uh, create new ones until you find him. Okay. Apparently, we're going to see a mole. Okay. So, this is the house. As you can see, we got, we got a good terrain. There's like room for like a pool over here. It's not extremely big. Oh, shovel. So this is where the mole, you know, appears. Oh, mole, you freaking mole. Okay, mole left the property. And we got an achievement, whack mole. Okay, good. So, let me just look around yeah, as you can see we got a little weed a lot of stuff and over here the bunker look at this look at this awesome bunker let me just quickly dispose of some of this stupid trash that we have here okay bunkers trash and get rid of this and over here, there's a lot of stuff. Look at all this crap. Just getting rid of it. Uh, just a quick pass. Okay, we got a pooptorium. We dispose of that. We're disposing of all of this thing. <laughs> Someone said that the toilet seat is the, is the bare minimum. I agree. It is the bare minimum. Look at this place, you know, there's a lot of stuff to be do done in this place, to pick up, okay, and over here, okay, so, the bunker just, you know, leads to this part of the house, okay, you got a lot of stuff to do. Okay, the first step is going to be to get rid of all of this crap. Uh, yeah, you know what? Screw it. We're selling all of this stupid crap. And we're selling this and this and that. Okay. This looks good. And over here we're gonna sell all of this crap. There's like... A lot of stuff and there was a sofa and some furniture we don't need any of this we're just getting rid the good thing is that the you know the cell okay there we go and yeah I'm just gonna sell all of this crap this this looks okay and maybe this we can salvage just gonna get rid of all these stupid things and you know what screw it selling all of this crap selling this fridge as well 
yeah, get rid of all of this. Nice. And the welcome mat, also sold. Sold this, sold the stupid thing. Look at the amount of crap that you find in this house. And well, it is, you know, kind of understandable, you know. This house has been, you know, empty even uh, from before the zombie war, you know. And uh, why was it empty from before the zombie war, you may ask? Uh, it is a good question. Uh, you know, this house actually belongs to an alien you see there was an alien that came to earth and okay we're gonna start trimming the garden this alien you know he arrived like in 1947 or something like that you know at a small town called Roswell New Mexico and um, and well this alien you know escaped from a, uh, from a, a shady uh, government agency that was trying to capture him and um, you know he was in a reconnaissance mission to this solar system so um, the problem is that there was a there was a malfunction you know with the warp engine of his ship so he crash landed here on earth and the rest of the crew tragically um, you know it perished in the crash that's what would happen so um, as I said it was in Roswell New Mexico and you may think oh I've heard about this it is the crash of Roswell no it is not the crash of Roswell that's a uh, you know a cover story because this is the actual uh, you know crash that happened and um, and uh, you know the, the the military in order to oh we got a new skill point garden sense uh, faster digging with shovel now we're gonna see the, the moles on the minimap if we see a mole they decided strangely enough that the uh, the best way to like um, you know cover up an actual crash was by you know faking another crash I, I know it doesn't really make sense but they decided it was it was the best way to do it because later on they could say that the crash was false and you know come up with all sorts of stories all mole mounts are uh, gone awesome so yeah, as I said, well, this um, this alien, he came to to Earth. They went on a reconnaissance mission to our solar system, and um, because well, they detected the energy release of the atom bombs used at the end of World War II. So um, it, you know, when when a civilization uses atomic energy and atom bombs in particular um, it means they, are they have achieved a certain technological level so these guys they come in order to assess the situation usually you know uh, they just watch and uh, from, from, from afar but in this case uh, they, they wanted to, to take a, a closer look at Earth, and well, as I said, uh, the warp engine malfunction, and they crash landed. So, well, the the, the captain of the ship, which was uh, the, the the sole survivor, he escaped, and he well, he got a job, you know. And um, luckily, these um, these aliens, they were like. Um, they were humanoid. You know? They actually they they came from Earth, you know. Um, they were like a, 
when 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 the, the, the lost city of uh, you know of Atlantis was destroyed, they were on an exploration mission to Proxima Centauri, and uh, well, as the Atlantean civilization was destroyed, they said, well, you know what? Why go back to Earth? Let's start our own civilization. This was well, around 12,000 years ago. So they set up, uh, you know, an outpost in Proxima Centauri, and they built a civilization. So they are actually humans, you know, but they are, well, they are different from us. Uh, Atlanteans had uh, engaged in extensive genetic engineering. You know, and um, they had changed. So, for instance, they live longer, uh, and they have a natural immunity to diseases, stuff like that. You know, but I guess you could say they are still basically human. So, well, um, this uh, this civilization in Proxima Centauri flourished and uh, joined a commonwealth of other civilizations you know, throughout the galaxy. And, well, as I said, this, these guys, they detected the, the atomic weapons used uh, come on, during World War II, and they wanted to come and assess, uh, you know, uh, our level of readiness to join the galactic community, or if we posed a bigger threat. But there were some technical issues, and the ship crashed and the the, the the ship's captain he was the sole survivor and since he looked human you know he he got a job and he got a job working at a a, a sawmill you know so for years he was just uh, uh, basically uh, cutting up wood into planks and you know that's how he eventually built this house this house is actually like 17 uh, 70 years old by now and he built it with his own hands you know he got like this uh, this this plot of land when he got it he was in the suburbs and he got it real cheap and the thing is that his analysis of uh, you know of the current human civilization indicated that there was a high probability of a complete thermonuclear annihilation at a planetary scale so that's why he built the bunker you know the bunker that's here eventually uh, you know uh, even though he had like extended extended uh, you know an extended life expectancy due to the Atlantans uh, genetic engineering shenanigans he eventually you know um, got uh, got tired uh, of uh, he didn't want to, to to spend his last years you know he, he got old not as old as uh, uh, he would actually have been like 170 years old by the time he decided to 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 leave you know? this was uh, back in the in the 90s and the uh, technical you know progress on earth had actually advanced to the point where he was able to fashion some sort of communicator and uh, basically ask for a rescue mission you know because, as I said, he, he, he didn't want to, to, to spend his old age in this, uh, in this planet. He, he wanted to go back to Proxima Centauri and s stay there with the, with the new Atlantean civilization that, that flourished it. It's, um, so so it's, it's really sad because, you know, he, 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 he actually liked this place. He built it with his own hands, and he built the bunker, and, um, and he had to leave. But that's how the, the house uh, fell into disrepair, 
and you know it um, went into the market and now we managed to get it and now we're going to uh, renovate it and sell it for a group price so the first step in renovating this this alien house and uh, you know he, he is yes he is an alien you know he had the, the Atlantean civilization in Proxima Centauri has diverged from the human civilization on Earth. So, um, the first step in selling in selling the aliens' house is to is to you know get rid of all of this uh, grass that's really overgrown. And then we are going to clean it because there's a lot of graffiti. And um, and then we're gonna go and re you know we're gonna clean up the, the garbage and we're going to get some new furniture. It's gonna look real nice. It's gonna look real nice. And we're gonna put some stuff up out here and um, we're gonna sell it for a profit yeah. and no one will ever know that an actual alien lived here and uh, you know, spent most of his life on earth he he never married you know he he actually had a wife back on Proxima Centauri so even though he crash landed on Earth, he always um, expected to come back to his wife. And frankly, well, we we don't know if he managed. Um, you know, all all of this uh, information I'm giving to you is not like because I knew him or anything like that. It, it's just because he left a diary. You know. And um, people found this diary, and someone wrote a book about it. But the book was really, or the diary actually, was really vague in terms of uh, where the house used to be. But um, after extensive research, and you know, a lot of searching, yeah, we managed to find this house. This is the house of the alien captain that crash landed on Earth, lived here for like 70 years, and then, you know, and, and built this house, and then went back home. And hopefully, you know, he was reunited with his wife over there in in his home world in Proxima Centauri. Okay, this thing looks really nice. I'm thinking. I don't know if we need to like paint it. Everything looks nice. Um I don't like this. We're gonna sell this. Let's just sell this and we will put different things later on. Yeah, that's good. Okay, now I wonder if I can use no, I can't use the 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 holes here. I can only clean. You see? Oh, we need a bucket of plaster to fill the the hole in the wall. That's good. First, what we're going to do is we're going to clean up, we're clean everything here. You see? You know the the floors are really are really nice. They are wooden floors, and they they actually they look really nice, which is no surprise because, um, as I said, the, the 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 alien he 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 worked at a sawmill, and uh, this sawmill not only like uh, transformed the the trees into like wood boards and stuff. They also manufacture furniture and, you know, like, like wooden floors. So actually over here, 
you can see the skill you know you can see the the floors he made at the sawmill during during his lunch breaks you know he would he would like wait for for lunch for lunch time and then he would uh, uh, you know eat really quickly he didn't need much nutrition you know uh, evolution and the the genetic you know modifications the atlantans did um they allowed them to like consume food very efficiently so he had a lot of free time he didn't need to, a lot of sleep as well you know so that's why he he had the free time and that's how he made the wood floors which are really really high quality you know so I'm just over here I'm gonna clean as best as we can here I'm gonna put tiles all over this so there's no problem and the first thing we need to do obviously is just clean everything we're gonna sell this as well and then we clean and over here it looks good okay seems some like dirt somewhere around here okay there it is okay i'm guessing this bathroom is clean i'm gonna clean you know these things we're gonna sell this door this door and this door i sell all of the doors okay keep on cleaning like in this direction I know there's dirt here there's also apparently some cobwebs yeah, this, this house has been empty for the past, I don't know, 20 years, you know, since he managed to, to send a signal. And uh, he had to wait because the signal, it was, um, a, it was a very advanced uh, signal, but still a electromagnetic wave. So he had to wait like the four years it took the signal to reach, you know, Proxima Centauri. Then they dispatch apparently a rescue mission, or at least that's that's what we think, because as I said, he left his diary, and there is no further mention of this guy. So what we assume is that he finally managed to get home and as I said hopefully he was reunited with his wife okay this is clean this is clean this area is clean we're gonna have to plaster because there's there's holes over here you know the holes are where he would punch the walls in frustration sometimes you have to understand that being on an alien planet from his point of view for like 70 years it's a pretty pretty intense situation you know but he managed to stay strong he managed to, to survive and to to get a house and um, you know make make a home for himself in this planet like four light years away from from his world and yeah we're gonna have to sell all of this this those lamps you know they look like crap there's a, like a big thing over here but I cannot see it what is this like big stain that I'm that is showing here am I cleaning it I need like better what ladder no the ladder is not here i'm thinking maybe we're seeing something from the the the, the, the floor that's under us let me just go down 
Okay, what do we have here? I'm gonna remove all of this crap. Uh, look at this. Okay. Oh yeah, well, we're gonna sell... Yeah. Uh, okay, good. Okay, and there's a lot of stuff that apparently is not... It's not, you know, like crap here, so we're just gonna try to keep it. Like you see, we got like supplies here. I'm just gonna go ahead and clean this up though. Because there is a lot of stuff, come on. Clean over here, what is the, oh, there's more trash. What else do we have? Over here we got this. That's being clean, awesome. How about here? There's the dirt over there, good. I'm cleaning all of this stuff. Okay. And you know what? We have to like move this. Can we move this? Sorry. Hold to pick up. Uh, there's not enough room. Okay, you know what? Screw it. I just gotta sell everything. We're gonna sell everything and then we will just install it yeah you see we're not gonna waste time just buying all of this stuff i mean selling it that way we can do this proper we're like boots whoa a few a few weapons there Apparently, he, you know, planned for a zombie apocalypse. Which is strange, because when he left the planet, the zombie apocalypse had not begun, you know. Over here, yeah, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta fix. There's a thing, like, right in front of me, and I'm not seeing it. Like, over here, you see? According to this, I should be like cleaning right. That's weird. Okay, let's just sell all of this stuff. All of this. Sell it, sell it. Gather the monies. Okay. The buyers appear to be kind of concerned. But it's okay. We're just gonna get rid of all of this. Oh, I apparently inadvertently sold the debunker door, you know. Just gonna sell it. Sell it, sell it, sell it. Sell everything. Okay, now we clean. Good. And sell this as well. We're cleaning, we're cleaning good. All of this. And over here, that's good. There we go. And we're gonna sell all this. It's sold. Sell this. Good. I know we're going to like waste some money like buying this again but don't worry this is just the first pass 
Okay, good. And we sell this as well. Nice. So yeah, house of an alien. He he knew like there was a possibility of nuclear war. He took the appropriate measures, you know. Okay, let's just move this thing, you know. No, 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 no. I don't want to move the ladder. I want to. Yeah. Okay, this thing. I'm going to place one here. Good. Okay, this appears to be clean. Okay, that's good. And over here. There is a weird thing over here that I do not see. Like, there's phantom something. You see, right here somewhere. I don't know what the hell is going on. It is showing me a thing. But I, I really cannot get rid of this. Oh, I did. It appears to be clean. Okay, this is a good thing. So the yard is done. Excellent. So let's start by, you know, doing the thing here at the house. Tiling and paneling, paint. Okay. You need a bucket of plaster to fill the hole in the wall. Okay, so, first of all, we need plaster. We're gonna buy a couple, you know. I think that's enough. Okay, switch to plastering. Good. Okay, that's done. Um, we got a hole over here. That's done. And there was another one over here. Okay. And I guess we're good. Let me see. Yeah, over here. That's good. Oh, there's a lot of uh, holes here. This is probably where he, you know, like to punch the walls more than ever. You know, because of the axis here. Okay, I guess we're good. Oh, there's a hole over here. And what else? Like, no, outside we're good. Okay, I guess we are good here. Um, any more? Can we, like, shut this on? Yeah. Uh, okay. So, for now, we're just gonna sell. And, for now, we're just gonna clean as well. We're gonna clean the windows. You know, this guy, obviously, he was not very fond of windows, you know, being an alien and all. But still, you, know, you need to have windows, otherwise the house just looks weird. So, we do everything easy, easy. That's good. And there, that's clean. This one is clean, this one is not clean. This is going to be like a big job, you know, with the bunkers and the garden and the inside of the house. Which is going, for now we're gonna close that. We're gonna go room by room.
Look at this. We are just cleaning the windows nice and slow. Bringing back to life the house of an alien. So we can sell it for the good profit. I don't remember how much we paid for this, like 120, something like that. But it's okay. As I said, we are going to sell it for the good profit. Okay, this room is done. Here in the bathroom. Just do it like this. There we go. There we go. Oh, can we like turn the light on? Yeah. Clean the window here. Nice and easy. You gotta do it right. That's good. How about this one? There we go. We go in a circular fashion. Apparently cleaning windows is easier now. You know? I'm saying that you don't need to actually clean 100% of the window for the job to be done. Okay, we're good. And now we are just going to paint. And um, I'm thinking okay, we're going to start with the bathroom, you know. So, over here, wall, wall tiles. Um... This bathroom is going to be like adventures. So we're just gonna go with dark green. You see, we're gonna buy those and then we are going to apply them. Okay. The only thing, you know, that I would really like is if we could apply more than more than one row. Oh, new skill available. 100% faster plastering. Good. That is a good thing. Although I am not plastering right now. We are just installing tiles on a green bathroom. Because as I said, even though the alien that built this house um, is humanoid, you know, basically a, a human species. Um, just for pop culture, we're going to go with the stereotype of the green-skinned alien, you know, or possibly gray-skinned alien, I don't know. There are many aliens in pop culture. You can take your pick. All I know is that we are bringing back to life the house of an old, broken-hearted Proxima Centauri ship captain who lived for years here. Oh yeah, well, this is the bullcrap, you know? This takes a long time. So he lived for years in this planet until, you know, technology allowed him to finally phone home, so to speak. Okay, good. There. I'm thinking I'm going to need like more of these tiles you know yeah we're not going to engage in demolition right now the house has good flow there we go we're 
here and there. Slowly, we're putting these green tiles. You know, classic. We're trying to maintain a classic atmosphere of club to the house. Okay, there. So here, good. And here. Just a little bit more. Right there. And right there. Good. It's a dark bathroom. Place it right there. Awesome. Maybe, yeah, no, it's, it's going to be enough. And I'm thinking the floor is going to have to go and be like similar, but not the same design, you know? Okay, good. Placing all of this stuff here. Putting it there, putting it here, and putting it there. Okay, I think, and you know what, just package of tiles, we're just gonna put the tiles here. So, when we place the door, it's not like just the bricks. Never really known the protocol here. Uh, just like that okay and now the floor floors floor tiles let's see we're gonna go with ceramic green tiles and we are going to like immediately do this there you go you see the green bathroom now for the appliances, radiator, we're just going to put there and assemble it, we just put it here, we screw it, screw it, and do it. Okay, so now the shower, shower goes here, so shower. I don't know why they haven't like added you can buy a shower and mount it. Yes. Why is there not enough room you're saying to mount the thing? Of course there's enough room. Okay, you know what? We're gonna sell this and we're gonna sell that. We're gonna put this in the shower room. What? It's, it says that there is not not enough room. That is really weird. You see, it says look, this is weird. Buy now. Mm, not enough room to place the shower apparently. Okay, let's sell this. Maybe it's that thing over there, you see? This thing? Okay, so what we're going to do is then we're going to reverse this. Sell the th thing. So, shower. Uh, plumbing system, buy now. Okay, apparently, yeah, the shower should go. And can we rotate this? No, we can't. Interesting. 
needs to go in this direction apparently. So can you uh, come on easy easy okay okay someone apparently installed the things and screw and screw get ready shower okay we assemble it we need to install these things now we place it put it there we screw this here we put that there we move this somewhere come on what is it that we need to move this 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 um oh this thing screw that screw that put this screw this and screw that we're just placing the panels, placing the things, screw it, screw it, screw it, put it there, put it here, nice, put it there, screw it, and there and here okay it's done shower is done and i'm gonna sell this pupitorium thing because it doesn't belong here what belongs here is the sink sink plumbing system so you see we gotta we gotta place it like over here. We unscrew these things and now we put the sink mm. sink. This looks nice. Then we're going to like go with oak cherry no we're gonna go with wench gray okay so how do we assemble this never assemble one of this oh look at this water comes from the from the tubing thing There, come on. Here. Place it, place it. Where do you want me to place it? There we go. And there's a little bit of water. So we can mop this. Yeah, you see? It's mopped. That's a nice addition. And, okay, the pupitorium. Toilet plumbing system rotate we're gonna mount it like right there you see so toilet uh, Standing toilet paper holder. No. Hmm. No. We'll buy this toilet. We'll assemble. Okay, and the holder. Um, this one. We're gonna 
just put it like over here there you go you see and also we need mirror um no how about this one no Okay, we're just gonna buy one and place it like over here, you see? Okay, I'm guessing this thing might be done. I'm just gonna, you know, sell this lamp. Mm, no, I don't like this ceiling lamp. Halogens. No, it's too small. Lamp. Mm. Don't have a lot of selections, you know, for the lamps. Particularly for. Okay, we're gonna buy one of these. American Elm. Um, buy there. And we're gonna rotate it there. Okay, this bathroom, simple but functional. Door. Uh, there. There. No, I like it like this, you see? Okay, this looks good. And towel things. Um, we're gonna buy one. We're gonna buy one and we're gonna place it like here. And towel uh, towel roll no this is not the thing uh, multiple towel radiator stack of towels hanging towels can I buy one of these this towel radiator and you know what we're gonna install a radiator over here Radiator plumbing system. There. Radiator. Assemble this. Just put screw, screw. Put screw, screw. Done. Okay, this is more like it. Hang, uh, hangers, hangers. Okay, we're gonna buy one of these, and we're just gonna put it there. You see, it's a bit close to the, the toilet, but it's okay. Okay, this is done. So over here we get the access to this. Over here, this is going to be like the master bedroom. You know. So, first, I'm going to sell this stupid light. Hmm, I kind of like that light. I'm going to sell this one. I'm going to sell this ones. Okay, lamps, ceiling lamps. Uh, this one with the lamp shade. We're gonna buy one for this, and we're going to buy like one for this. It can only hang on the ceiling. Yeah, well, it was hanging from the ceiling, you know. 
and it really appears that it's not hanging from the ceiling but it is hanging from the ceiling nevertheless and like over here it can only hang from the ceiling yes I am aware of such condition there we go see we got light we got light here although it doesn't really look like it I'm just gonna sell it I wanna buy one there we go now it looks like it okay this thing is not centered there we go uh, gotta move it a little bit over here that's good an old aliens house bringing be, being brought back to life so over here we're going to like get paint paint uh, okay walls uh, forest mist let's go with morning yellow okay morning yellow and then we start painting it's going to be a happy place you know it's going to be a place inviting for a new family a family of this earth which you know will never know that this house was built by a being who was born in another solar system a being that came here filled with hope and in the spirit of universal collaboration and science and knowledge ended up Spain uh, spending more than 70 years alone and forgotten afraid of a war you know that never came because actually it was the stupid zombies that came and you know messed up the place but that's okay that's okay let's not dwell into you know ugly memories of the zombie war there we go just get it paint it you see it's a it's a nice thing it, it brings you joy being in this in this room there we go just painting everything you gotta paint the ceilings you gotta paint the corners because that's how they get you there we go yeah I know I can install the radiator there I will do so when it is appropriate not right now Uh, you know it's a Zen thing which is paint the house and then we flip it we're gonna make a lot of money our buyers seem a little bit nonplussed by what we are doing right now but that's okay the final product will be to their liking trust me on that it's going to be pretty house a house where they will be able to make new memories start raising a family perhaps always remembering the old you know captain that came here from Proxima Centauri 
and ended up spending most of his life in this place. There we go. As I said, he worked at the sawmill for a few decades. Then he changed his identity, you know, and um, he became a writer. That's how, you know, uh, that's why uh, he, he left the journal of his adventures. And uh, he published, uh, you know, mainly books on uh, related to wood, you know, like uh, forest management and stuff like that. He was actually um, trying to help us, you know. Um, it's not very clear um, in, in his journal, but um, I think he knew that eventually technology would go to a point where he would be able to fashion some sort of transmitter and send a, a signal so they could rescue him. But, well, um, okay, this is looking nice. I'm guessing he always hoped for rescue, you know, hope for deliverance. And after he finished working at the sawmill, he, he decided to, to become a writer. So he could pass on some knowledge, you know, some of the, the knowledge he acquired in order to give us a hand, you know. He saw us as his distant human cousins. He had faith in us. He wanted a better tomorrow for us. Okay, this is done. Good. So... We're going to, this is going to be like a study, and there's going to be the access to the bunker, you know. And the study, we are going to, like, we're going to paint it alluring lavender. So, no, I need the paint too. You know, it's a weird color. It's a color that... You know, shocks you and invites you to think, to go beyond the ordinary. That's why we're putting it here. Come on, paint the stupid thing. There we go. Let me just check something. Did I miss anything? No, this is good. This is good. This is good. Okay, this is good. Now we put this here and we paint it. We paint it good. There we go. You know the, the Atlantan civilization in Proxima Centauri is very peaceful. Also as, as it's uh, stated in the in the journal of the captain and um, you actually might have uh, read the journals of the captain they were very extensive you know um, uh, they they sum up more than more than 70 years here on earth you know so yeah, you might have read them and not even realized you read them because they were written in code a code that was so advanced that there was like a whole different story buried that uh, you know like the, the, the story that you read in the books was something completely different and you had to know the code 
how to read it in order to like read the story of the alien captain and as I said most of you might have heard about this series of books it's called the Twilight Saga which apparently is some sort of it has to do something with like sparkly vampires or something like that but if you read it like properly you would you know be able to decode the history of the alien captain this may come as a shock to you because there, there were even like movies made uh, oh sleepy blue this thing helps uh, you know uh, uh, fend off ghosts so we're gonna use it so yeah there was like a, a series of uh, of, um, of movies about you know the twilight thing um, but yeah it, it, if you read it right as I said it's actually the decades long journal of a oh new skill point uh, 75% oh this is good less paint usage it is actually the memoirs or actually the journal of a of an alien captain okay we're just painting all of this and you know even if it wasn't uh, like the, the the house of an alien this would still be a good flip we get a good size house we get good terrain we get a bunker which is always a plus in case the the undead rise again or there's some sort of you know nuclear war or something like that which as I said was the main reason the captain uh, you know built the bunker he thought we humans were like the humans from earth we were kind of savage you know he compared us to our relatives in Proxima Centauri and they they are peaceful you know as I said the the the, 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 the humans from Atlantis they just had to send like a colonizing mission to Proxima Centauri you know they they didn't have like warp drives back then they they sent a a generational ship you know so that's when disaster happened and the entire city continent of Atlantis sank beneath the waves so that's how they you know settle on, on on Proxima Centauri and now there's a world full of people there you know basically humans okay this is done let's add some doors here door okay so we're gonna like put one here and we're gonna put one here and now we need front doors um, we got a front door with knocker dark we're gonna buy two of this okay there we go there's one and this one doesn't need a knocker oh it has a knocker nevertheless okay doors are installed house is cleaned okay this is look good this look good 
Okay, let's just go work on the bunker. Okay, so we get one room over here, one room over here. Hmm. Uh, can I turn on the light here? You can buy a washer. Okay, now we're gonna. Um, do we have here? Turn on the switch. Okay, okay, okay. We got the lights, you see? There we go. This one lights this one. This one. Okay. I don't see the switch for this, you know? Can I install it? Light. Mm. No. Here's survival equipment, switch, shovel, bunk bed, electrical. Oh, there's a switch. Good. So we're going to install it like. Uh, I want to install it right here. Yeah, good, now we have light. Okay, so, you know, this bunker, you can access it from here. This is going to be like the living room. This is going to be storage, storage, puppetorium, more storage. So, for now, we're just gonna paint first. And we're gonna paint the entire bunker Forest mist. There we go. It's gonna look pretty, you know. Just in case you have to survive here. This is a calming, relaxing color. The only thing I can I can't do is paint like the. The, the 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 ceiling that's kind of weird you see but for now we can paint this and the floor I think the floor is good you know we don't need to to do anything with the floor it's appropriate for a bunker you get like water drains here remember that we are underground and in case some fluid were to like spill like for instance water or blood uh, you have to be able to uh, wash the floors you know okay there that's good Okay, and here, close, okay good, um, I wonder if a um, door, bunker, door, survival, no others no oh reinforced door we're gonna install one immediately oh crap over here where i sold it why is this thing attacking me look at this holy crap what the crap what is going on Okay, easy, easy, easy. No. Whoa. Holy crap. What is going on? There's some dimensional instability in this place. Holy crap. Holy crap. Holy crap. Okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna take shelter here until the situation like Oh whoa. Holy crap. Damn. 
Okay, let me close this. You know, I'm starting to think. Okay, we're gonna leave this thing without door. I don't give reses. I'm starting to think there might be some hidden alien technology in this place that you know would explain what happened you know I'm thinking that possibly when the captain sent the distress signal um, you know for for them to come and, and rescue him possibly he had a plan B you know he might have been like uh, you know constructing some sort of dimensional gate you know similar to the gate of doom and that might have been like a plan b you know because there definitely was some sort of weird shenanigans happening i don't know i don't know we're not gonna tell the buyers about that. They, they're if if they encounter some alien tech, well, they just uh, I don't know. They're gonna have to call uh, the Men in Black or something like that. You know, possibly call the guys from Area Fifty One. Something like that. kind of weird okay we're putting this finishing touches in this area come on then we're gonna paint the bathroom and once the bathroom is painted we're gonna start uh, adding you know furniture and supplies then we're gonna finish the furniture inside the house, then the garden, and then we're gonna flip it. Okay, good. This is nice. You know, a bunker does not need to be like all grim and dark. It needs to be, you know, like survival is the priority. But you always need to look good while surviving. Otherwise, what's the point? Okay, let me do this. Not even sure I need to really reload. Yeah, now I need. I can probably paint like two of these sets of four without like refilling the brush, you know? Okay, and over here. Good. There we go. Okay, this is painted, yes. This is good, this is good. Okay, I'm gonna just sell the remaining buckets. There we go. And now we're just gonna do the bathroom. We need tiles. Um you know what this is going to be like very very basic so which we're gonna, gonna use like the blue tiles okay good and now we just install it there we go like over there you see basic functional calming it is an important thing when you are like 
surviving in an underground bunker, you know. There we go. Right there. Here it comes. Okay, good. Yes, I know I need to place the the shower here. And over here. And there. And there. And here. Good. Just a little bit longer. sell this open this and now we're going to install shower mountable shower assemble just get to screw these things ah. replace it we move move we do there we go oh I don't remember here which one is the one I need to like move? Like this one? Oh, it's something like over here. Oh, there we go. For some reason, I'm pretty sure I had clicked on that, but it did not move and then suddenly it moved. Just screw everything. Screw it, screw it. Place it, place it, screw it, screw it. There we go. Now we just, just stick it in there and put this thing there and just take it and screw it. Okay, this is done. The Puppetorium now. By now. Assemble. We screw this. We screw that. We install. We install. We put. Toilet. One of this. There we go. Sink. Mountable sink. We assemble this. There we go. Now we put this. We flip it. And you put it there. Interesting. No, no water. You know the animation of the water? from from the we, we got in the other bathroom didn't happen here that's kind of weird okay it's done and mirrors mirror okay and I'm guessing we're good here now we're gonna start from this end so we need a bunk bed survival equipment bunk bed okay we're gonna buy one right here and place it there we go and um, Toilet paper. I'm just gonna put one like there so you can use it. 
Let's just go over here. You see, two bunk beds. You see, you got the bunk beds over here. And we're going to have like uh, over here um, survival weapons, no supplies. Uh, yeah, we got a lot of stuff here energy containers, furniture. Cupboards, no desk, tables, kitchen, kitchen. Let's see this thing. We're going to have it in this color. You see, like over here, I want to have a fridge. refrigerator stack nice I'm gonna have stove a gas stove we're gonna install it here you see and Okay, you enter here, we, we need cupboards. We're gonna buy... Hmm. Can we place this? If I move the, the fridge, you know, I could place it there, but no. Kitchen furniture um, let's see no kitchen mm, sink cabinet hanging cabinet Andy let me see what this it's, it's, it's so big. It's so freaking big, you know? Let's just go back. Kitchen. Mm. No. You know, maybe some of these things. Where's the one I bought? I bought this one. Uh, sink ending. Okay, this this could be Okay. Yeah, this this should do it, you know? We're gonna place one there. Oh crap. We'll place one there and one there and one here. Why is it uh, why, any furniture? Well, the furniture is going to be, you, you know, like over here. So shut the hell up. Uh, kitchen. Mm, furniture. Table, tables. I'm going to try this table. You see, we're going to place it right here. And then chairs. No, this is not a good chair. Uh, furniture, chairs. We're gonna do this chair. Buy many. You see, we're gonna buy like one that's going to be like over here and one that's going to be like over here there small but functional 
also over here you know over here we're gonna have like an entertainment center slash um, like well, TV hanging TV you see we got this TV we're gonna have survival gonna have a first aid kit I'm gonna have it over here um, electrical stuff no we're good protection barricades barricades that's weird Equipment, no weapon. Yeah, we're gonna need some of this stuff, you know. But uh, um, I need furniture. And cupboards, bookcases, steel garage shelf. We're gonna buy a few of these ones, you know? Like one over there. And we're gonna buy one over here. And one over here. And one over there. And now over here we need a sofa, furniture, sofas. Mm. Even if it's the zombie apocalypse, it has to be like a good sofa. Let's see. Sofa, sofa. You know, I'm guessing this one. And we're gonna go with this, you know? It's whimsical. There you go. It's gonna look bad once the people, uh, you know, they go here. And, and uh, with the blood and the stuff, if there's an apocalypse and they are up there. It's gonna stain, but well, you have to have at least something nice, you know. Furniture, um, looking for something functional, you know, like for instance, cabinet, simple white, no. Okay, we're gonna buy one of these, you know, and we're gonna use it like this. There you go. And in here is where we're going to get like some some things. For instance, we're gonna take one of these. We're gonna put it. Okay, we're gonna put them here, you know. And the shotgun. There we go. And a survival spoon, which is going to be there. And a knife. And the knives, we're gonna buy like a few knives, you know. the survival spoon there we go uh, the survival spoon for some reason is a melee weapon apparently there we go you see we got this stuff and now let's just go and add the supplies 
For instance, energy water. Okay, so water container, plastic barrel, fuel canisters. I'm gonna buy some fuel canisters, which we're going to leave like over here. There you go. And just place it right there. Okay. Let's just go back. Water container. I'm gonna buy a few of this. And I have to place it there, there, and there. Okay, good. Go back, water bottle. I'm gonna fill this with water bottles. See? This is the area where the water bottles are going to be. There we go. Okay. And apparently they need more water, so we're just filling it with water. Okay, we got water over here. What else do we have? Uh, power, we got a generator. I'm gonna buy one of this. We're gonna install it over here. Can we install it over here? No. Maybe a smaller generator. This one. There we go. And now this gas cylinder. A few gas cylinders and water, food, energy containers, uh, box, large, large food container. I'm gonna buy some of this, we're gonna store them right here. Yes, I know we need food supplies. I'm just adding the, the the food, you know. Okay. I don't know if these food containers are empty or filled, but we are adding the food. Okay, now we get the food. So, the food. We're gonna get canned food. We're gonna start placing food over here. And there. Also over here. Come on. Just put it put the food there, man all of this food you can see the potential buyers they're getting interested uh, canned meat we're just adding food you see okay someone said that's enough food but it is not enough we're gonna get some nuts see and we need as well some uh, kind of rice we need some rice rice is good rice is necessary I need I need like a 
thing over here. We're gonna put the rice here. There we go. And more food. Candy tomatoes. See, we're packing this thing up with a lot of food. And chickpeas. Some of the chickpeas. Okay. Okay, now we can put some food over here. What else do we need? Uh, pickled cucumbers. These things are disgusting, but some people like them. Apparently not my buyers. And can of tuna. Just put in the tuna there. Good. And, oh, I think I can do this. Yeah. Food, food. Macaroni. Okay. And over here. Just a little bit more of food. What else are we missing? Jar of soup, you know. A little bit of soup. Okay. So, the bunker part appears to be good, sufficiently stocked. Um, um, you know what we need? Poster. No? Uh, walls. Mm, decorations, pictures and paintings. Um, okay. You always need like one picture of the ass, you know? I'm gonna place it like right there. And also, remember this bunker is for use during apocalypse scenarios so we might as well buy like some things that people can watch they can they can take a look at it they can remember there we go see they can remember that there is a world outside And they sometime will be able to reclaim it. Um, this one. We're just gonna put it right there. Yeah, you see? This bunker is looking nice. It's looking real nice. Also, um, What else do we have? This one. Oh, this one goes over here. Like there, you see? And just one more a painting. See, it's an artistic bunker. Okay, so the bunker segment is done. We got supplies. We had the ass over there. A lot of supplies, functioning puppetorium, we got weapons, everything is good. Okay. And over here, what we need here, oh, look at this. 
there was there was like a weed okay might have been a result of the alien tech and the dimensional instability that we experience uh, you know before let's just install this and install that there we go okay I'm gonna install the, the radiators you know and then we're going to like put the furniture and the house will be ready radiator 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 over here nice uh, come on there we go this is good okay we're good here so this is the master bedroom so over here we're gonna put bed uh, furniture beds we need like a big bed you gotta be stylish we're gonna use this one uh, no I like it mm. okay you know what this one okay there so now furniture cupboards this one uh, where can I place this I'll place it right there you see and we got a small desk over here that we need for you know various business and stuff so I'm just gonna buy one uh, no we're just gonna cupboard let's just try to find this one maybe okay put it there okay we need uh, tables no chairs beds desk mm, bathroom decoration kitchen lamps I need lamps, but I need places to put the lamps. Bedside table. Bedside. Herbies. No. Mm. Bedside table. Okay, left side. There. There we go. And right side. There we go. Lamp. Ah, crap. Uh, full lamps. This one. Placing one over there. Placing one over there. You see? Lamps. Uh, floor. Rugs. I'm gonna need 
like this. Mm. No, I need a different kind of rug. These rugs are too big. Um, what about this one? Okay, we're gonna buy one of the. Yeah. And a different rug. This one. It's going to be over here. You see? It's a weird combination, but it uh, it works, you know? It works. Oh, and um, stereo. There's no stereo. Home electronics. Uh, I just want a radio, you know? I don't see any radios. That's weird. Okay, so let's say this is done, now we're going to do this area, let's just uh, turn the light on. Okay, so we need a desk, which we're going to place like over here, furniture desk. Let's just buy this one. Yeah. There. Chair. We're gonna build. We need a chair for this thing. Uh, furniture. Chair. And we need a good chair like this one. You see. This. There we go. This is the chair, and we're gonna build a like a. We need electronic equipment in the home electronics. So we need a computer. Uh, this one. And we're just gonna put it there. Home electronics monitor HD whoa no monitor there we go that's better and a keyboard uh, keyboard there we go and I'm gonna need like something over here, like a sofa, you know, for relaxing. Furniture, sofa, small sofa for relaxing. Like, I'm guessing this one. Like that. You see, you're working, the apocalypse begins, you go into the, the shelter. And over here, we should have uh, a hanging TV as here, yeah. There you go, you see? Also, we should have decorations, pictures and paintings. We should have a painting. Like a good size painting like over here. Well, put it there. And this one like a bit higher there. Nice, nice. And we need a lamp. We need a standing lamp, like this one, for instance. This one. 
There we go, and there we go. Clear this total one over there. And just nice, you see? You know, the house of the old alien captain is gonna look real nice now. It's going to look really, really nice. Okay, so master bathroom done. Bathroom done. Uh, like this a small home office done. So now what we need over here is the kitchen, which we're going to do immediately. Furniture, no, kitchen. I need like a big ass this one similar to this one you know what we're gonna go with classic we're gonna go with this I need to be lighter like that yep uh, no because we have like uh, or this one no should we try this one no we have a, a window mm, I'm guessing Kitchen island with a heating plate. I don't know, you know, this is hard. Let's just go with this one. But we're gonna lighten up. Uh, yeah. Buy now. So this one be, we buy, we place it here. Okay. So, kitchen. And electronic equipment, home appliance. I'm gonna need like a big fridge, you know, like this one. I don't know about the lightning over there. It's kind of weird. There we go. And what else do we have? Electric cooker. Yeah. Okay, we got that and we need kitchen. Kitchen. We need something. Yeah, there's one. By now. What the crap? What is wrong? Oh, there we go. You see, you can place the things. And over here, we're going to place a dinner table. Mm, furniture. Table. Maybe like a big table. Uh... I have a lot of tables to choose from. I'm gonna buy one of this. There we go. There we go with chairs. Let's just buy these chairs. So you see, we place them like so. Now we need sofas. Sofa. We're gonna have elegant sofa. Mm, 
like one over here and a smaller one on the other side for instance chairs oh you know what we're gonna have a poof it's gonna be whimsical we're gonna be whimsical we're gonna we're gonna buy a poof over there and a poof over here you gotta remember that the alien captain that used to own this house he came here in the 1940s so he lived through all the you know the flower revolutions of the 60s he actually became a little bit of a hippie you know? so and I'm just gonna get like a uh, this you know so this is like a, a little homage to, to him. Floor, rugs. I need like a nice rug. This one. There, you see? This is nice and now we need some paintings. Decorations, pictures and paintings. Uh, let's see, like a nice painting. Mm. What do we have here? Okay, I'm gonna buy like a painting brown forest. I'm gonna buy the painting that was right next to this. It's like a set, you see? And finally, this one. There you see. Okay, everything looks nice now. Just gotta work on the garden. So, so surface, paving slabs. We're just gonna. You know, put some of this at the exit. Like, why is this thing not letting me install this? Yeah, you see? Like that. There we go. Okay, for some reason it's not letting me what do you use to for this uh, stone aggregate stepping stone floor floor tiles floor panelings how do I do this package of tiles I don't know what the hell um, floor tiles, architecture, no, surfaces, stepping stones, paving slabs, sport surfaces, stone aggregate. Okay, I don't know how to replace that thing, you know. It's kind of weird. Okay, we're just gonna sell this. I'm gonna leave it like that, it's just uh, the grass, you know? Okay, so, and... Because this thing... Yeah, we should be able... Baby on slabs. But I don't see... I don't see anything made out of wood, like the thing I sold. Hmm. Paving slabs. What about this ones? Can I buy this? Okay, we're gonna just for now just put this like that, you see? So we can access this. 
and we're going to put over here so we can exit. There we go. Let's just, just move this one. There we go. So, lights. Lights, lights, architecture, no. Decoration, lamp. Uh, okay, first, we're going to put these lamps. You see, we're putting one there. And there's like light coming from something there. We're going to put one there. So you see, now we can see. Oh, apparently there's a blood moon. Maybe the zombie horde is going to come. I don't know. This is supposed to be after the apocalypse. Or maybe it's just dawn, you know. Just bad memories from the zombie apocalypse. I'm just going to put some of these things here. Like in the corners of the house. course around the bunker because you need to be able to see what you're doing you want to enter the bunker you see here yeah, good nice And this one. And this one over here. Nice. I'm going to install some trees. Plants. Uh, grass. No. Conifers. Edible plants. Okay. Apple trees. Uh, still like one over here you see you can eat this during the zombie apocalypse in case it happens again if it's a, a nuclear war probably you're not going to be able to like be outside eating the apples you know the hole is dug we put the soil, we water it. The planting was successful. We dig, dig long, dig hard. The hole is dug, we put the soil, we did it. We plant again. We dig, Um, we plant, we put the soil, we do this, planting was successful, we dig, we dig long, we dig hard, we plant, we put the soil around, we water it, it is successful. This flip is going to be just awesome, you know? It has the bunker, the house, the garden. Put the soil around, water it. Awesome. We're going to install also a few um, recreation. We're gonna put a grill. We're going to be back here. You see? And we're gonna put a, you know, like a pizza oven, which is very whimsical, if you ask me. I'm gonna put it right there. And also, 
let's see. We're going to need like a tire swing. Just want to put it over here, you know. I'm assembling it. Okay, there's a tire swing. Very, very whimsical. And balance swing. Oh, garden swing chair. This is really nice. And you see this one is going to be like over here. Here. We assemble this. We just screw this and screw that. Screw this and screw that. Place it, screw this and screw that. Place it, screw this, screw that. Screw everything. Nice. And, you know, we need um, surfaces, paving slabs. Stepping stones. Let's see, something that looks nice, you know. We're gonna use this. Change a little bit the color. That's good. So, I'm gonna start like placing some of this over here. You see, so we can get the different things oh crap i'm gonna move this a little bit can i move it no okay well <laughs> i was going to destroy it <laughs> apparently okay let's just place some over here there you see we're gonna put like a hammock over here. Recreation. This one. It's gonna be whimsical. I'm just gonna put it right there. Nice, nice. And you know we need a little fencing here. Um fences yeah like this so you see we get this now first we need the we get the gate Rio half of Rio fans Rio fans okay we buy we buy one of this we buy place it like over here now we place the real gate you see like over there I gotta move it a little bit just a little bit there. Okay, that looks good. And now I need the real fence. Like over there. Oh! Screw it up. Screwed it up. Um. Non-standard direction. Who said fences needed to be like always in the same direction? You see, we did the non-standard thing. There we go. Oh, we gotta move it a little bit. 
come on. There. Okay. Yeah, that is good. Whimsical, but good. Also, we go back here. Recreation. I'm gonna buy one of this. Oh, put it like there, you see? And uh, I need some plants. Um, flower beds, you know? Okay, so something that looks good. Climber. Okay, on this side, I'm gonna install like a climber, you see? There. See, that looks nice. What else do we have? I like this one. We're just going to install it all the way here to the entrance. See, so you can, you feel welcome to the house. You feel secure. Not like the alien pilot, you know, the, I mean the alien captain who crashed here in the 40s, spent like 70 years alone, built a house with a bunker in it because he feared that there was an apocalypse coming. And um, eventually the apocalypse happened, you know, but. It was not the apocalypse that he was expecting. And um, it was a zombie apocalypse. Okay, I'm going to install a few of these trees over here, you know. Like there. These trees, I understand they grow up be real big you know so installing like three in a row like this might be problematic but that's going to be a problem for the buyers not for me do it install and now we do it awesome Plant this. Do it. Install. And good. Nice. And you know, we need a few flower beds. We also need like something here, like a pond, you know? So architecture. Garden stairs. No, I don't need architect that. that. Uh, oh, a gazebo. Yeah, this looks interesting. Can I place it in the back? That's like the big question. Like, for instance, over here. Okay, I don't know what, what is it that I'm, I'm assembling. Uh, okay. We're just putting the things. I think we ran into a problem. Okay, assemble. Assemble. Yep, we are outside. Demolition. <laughs> no. X. Okay, so screw it. How, how do I cancel this freaking gazebo? Oh yeah, I sell it. <laughs> you know, that's a problem. That's a problem. That's a, a really big problem. 
What we're going to do is we're going to use a simple tent. Gonna buy it now. Put it there. And we're going to put like a like a chair or something, you know. Um. Ooh, garden sofa with roof. Nice. We got a lot of furniture here. Look at this. We're going to put like this thing, you see? Sofa Jamaica. There we go. We're going to put it right here. You see? There. What do you mean there's not enough room? Of course there's enough room. And people here can have a nice time while they wait for the apocalypse. All the things we have, plants, flower beds. Uh, okay, we're gonna buy some of this. There we go. No, but I need the, the flower beds. Um, furniture. No. Chair, no. Decorations, lamps, pet accessories. Oh, of course, we need to put a dog house, which is going to be like over here, so you can guard the entrance. Uh, other maybe tool house compost no okay well the scarecrow of course we need to buy it and we're gonna put it here I wonder if this thing is also haunted like the one I have <coughs> Jesus yeah it's also haunted uh, Um, decorations, uh, bed, flower, ground for flower beds with stone, ground for flower beds. Where do I get the, the flower beds? That's weird. Uh, architecture fences plants flower beds but I'm, I'm looking for the the actual thing to plant the flower bed that's kind of weird I don't I don't find it plants no furniture chairs tables umbrellas benches sofas garden Decorations, pet accessories, garden oh garden pots, of course. This one. We're gonna install a few over here. You see, like this one over here. And this one's here. And over here. So we can hide the fact that we got rid of the of the things here. We're gonna put one there and one here. And also one here and one here. Good, and now we need plants, flower beds, these ones, nice. I'll fill this thing with chrysanthemums. There we go. 
here and there here and there And as I said, I want a pond. So, decoration, water tanks, mm. you know, I want them to like put the, the other ponds, you know, the, the other pools. We're just going to install one over here. Insert the pond. And now we dig. We dig long, dig hard. Insert it. We put the soil around. We fill it. Nice. You see? And we need some surfaces, paving slabs. Stone aggregate. Uh, we're gonna use this, you know. Like so, you see? So it has like an area around it. There we go. Come on, come on. Let's do this. Look at this. No, don't demolish it. Look at how, ni how nice it's looking. Um, I'm going to add a few more things for the kids out here. So recreation, you get one of this, you just gonna put it there, and you get one of this, there we go, we're gonna put it right here. What else do we have? Um, nothing oh yeah we got we're gonna put like a kid's house like a playground with yeah that's good let's just make it there we go and this one is going to be like on this side it's going to be it's big you know assemble okay assemble so we place it we do it. It's a kid-friendly house, you know. There we go. You see? Look at how nice this this place looks. So yeah, okay. The final tour before we sell this. This here is the house that belonged to an old alien captain that came here from Proxima Centauri. You see? This is the house. The house features a fully equipped garden, even with the haunted thing over there. And back here, you get nice facilities. You can relax, you can cook a little bit. You see, you can swing. You get the pond over there. Pour out the water, that's weird. You get access to this, you get this for the kids. If you enter the house, to the right, you have the master bedroom. To the left, you have the bathroom. You see? Over here, you get the living room, dining room, kitchen. Oh, I'm guessing the kitchen. Oh, yeah, the kitchen does the thing. And if for some reason, uh, and this is like the study, you see? And if for some reason there is some sort of apocalypse, 
you can enter here and you get to the bunker you get beds you get the kitchen in the bunker you get the weapons and you get the sofa you get the supplies over here you get a functional bathroom more supplies you get a generator you get the ass you see and you get an exit that goes all the way here as I said this house was built by an alien captain who spent like 70 years on earth and then you know he was rescued and there's there might be some alien technology in this house because at some point some weird dimensional instability happened or something like that but it's okay it's okay you know we this is going to be a good flip so now we sell the house submit garden for contest uh, put the house on auction we're gonna put the house on auction okay we bought the house for 128 grand uh, we, we got a lot of rooms apparently okay we've been working on this house for two hours and 31 minutes okay put on auction um, here we go guns oh whoa think things are good a winner 239,000 you see we made a profit of 95,000 there were not a lot of uh, buyers you know just these three but you see we 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 spent 128 there was some renovation furniture and stuff and we sold for 239 so a lot of profit you know we're gonna accept the offer nice and we got an achievement the survivalist that is pretty cool and we got new negotiation skill available okay we got the thing okay and as you can see now we have two hundred and ninety five thousand dollars available so i'm thinking in the next video is going to be like we're going to finally move office possibly put this for a garden competition or something like that I don't know. so yeah this has been like one of the longest videos on the channel ever house flipper you know the alien captain house so i hope you enjoyed it that's it for now See you next time. Destruction and creation are the same thing after all.